Hey guys, again, we're still eating keto 30 days with me. And thanks for staying with me. So I'm gonna work on breakfast right now. I like to prep egg cups. I know they're expensive at the store. Don't waste your money. They're so easy to make. So let's get into that. All right, so I'm gonna make a variety of flavors here so I don't have to have the same boring thing every day. So first I got my silicone cups because they come out easy. If you don't have silicone cups, that's fine. You can just use a, a regular muffin tin or um, cupcake cups, either one. Okay, so I just give them a light spray. They say you don't have to spray the silicone cups, but I spray them anyways, just to make sure they can pop out nice and easy. And I'm using my olive oil spray here for that. Or avocado, that's right, avocado. Avocado oil. Okay, so I've already pre-chopped my ingredients here. This is gonna be my jalapeno popper one. I have jalapenos, cheddar cheese, and some cream cheese. Now you can add bacon to that if you like. But I'm gonna do some bacon and pepper jack ones separately. Here I have some ham, cheese, and then some sweet bell pepper. And then a veggie one. So spinach, tomatoes, and onion. I could put some sweet pepper in that too, it might be good. All right, so here we go. Basically, you're gonna crack a couple eggs. If this, if I were just doing one flavor, I'd crack all these eggs in one bowl. But because I'm doing different flavors, I don't wanna have too much egg and not enough egg left over. So, here we go, I'm gonna whip my egg. I think I'll start with my uh, jalapeno ones. So I'm gonna put my cream cheese, my jalapenos, all the fillings in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna whip that up. Cream cheese is a little bit harder to mix, but it'll work too. I'm gonna cover it so it doesn't splash when I whip it. See, I think we'll do those in the square ones. And you want to fill your cups about halfway or maybe two thirds. Sorry, I'm bumping. Bumping ya. Yeah. Here I have enough for just about four, which is two um, is a serving which would be one egg worth of protein, okay? But you also have your cheese and things like that. You get all the jalapeno, that's the good part. Okay, next, crack a couple more eggs. These brown eggs are actually from my guinea fowl. They are not chicken eggs. They are very uh, good, got a shell in there. They're, they're harder to crack when you, um, they're a little more, um, round on the bottom and pointier on the top and you have to really smack them to crack them they're very hard to crack the shell so usually because you have to smack them so hard i end up getting a little bit of shell in my come on come on get out of there a little bit of shell in my uh, eggs here there we go, got it out. All right, let's do the bacon pepper jack with these. That should be good. You know what, I might go ahead and throw a third egg in here just for good measure, because I have so much and I wanna make sure. All right, pepper jack and bacon. I'm gonna put a little black pepper. The pepper jack cheese actually is gonna make it a little spicy and the the uh, bacon will make it a little salty, so I'm not gonna add any salt or pepper to these. But for these, I think I'll use the cups here, the little flower-shaped cups. And once you get these in the oven, I bake them at um, 400 for about 12 minutes. Let them cool and pop them out.
Oops, that one's a little over full. It's all good. It's all good. All right. I'm going to actually go to the next bowl here because that one's getting a bit messy. Let's see. Dang it, I am not having a good track record with these eggshells today. All right, this one's going to be my veggie one. I have a lot of spinach in this one. I don't think I put, I didn't put any cheese in this one either. So this one is no cheese, just veggies. And I think, whoops, sorry. I'm gonna do these last two here. The flower shaped ones, and then I'll do these regular ones here. That one seems short a little egg yolk, huh? Well, if I have some left from wherever, I'll go back to it. Next, I'm going to do my ham and cheese. I'll do three eggs on this one too. Get all my toppings out of there. And this one I use shredded cheese instead of chopped. You can use whatever kind you like. The ham is salty, but I'm still going to add a little black pepper to it. Oops because the ham has enough sodium. I don't need extra salt, trust me. And I'm gonna go for these four round ones here. And I still got two cups over there. So I'm going to go ahead and beat a couple more eggs because this one's short. So let's see. What kind should we make these? I think we should keep it simple. How about just a little salt, pepper, and cheese? That works. A little pepper. A little salt. And I'm going to grab some cheese. So I opted for the shredded cheese on this one. Okay, so I got shredded cheese here. And I'm actually gonna put a little bit on this one because it's not quite full enough. That should make that one better. They all look good though. I think they're all full enough. Whoa, you know the problem with egg is it kind of is gelatinous and you get that chunk. Okay, so this little bit that's left, I think I'm gonna actually put a scoop of salsa in it just for some flavor. See how that works. I'll just put a little salsa. There we go, a little pico or whatever you wanna call that. Mix that in. And then I'll have two of that flavor. Put that one there. And dump the last in the last one. All right. Now these are ready to go in the oven. Again, 412 minutes. All right. 12 minutes. And they're done. And they pop right out of these little silicone cups. So they really are worth it. They're not very expensive. Oh, hot. So, 
Here's my egg cups. Two eggs, I mean two cups, you, you know, like I said. I think they're like, I wanna say four or five dollars for two of these at the store. And they usually only have like two flavors. So you can make whatever flavor is your fancy. And I'm telling you, um, I don't know about where you live, but um, I have farm fresh eggs here, but I saw an ad where eggs were like 75 cents for a 12 count on sale this week at the market. So, hey, easy, keto, delicious.